Right, so this afternoon at the MLC, I'm getting on with one of the projects that I've been really excited uh, to be doing whilst I'm here, and that is white boxing. Um, something that probably quite a lot of people know is I don't really shoot a great deal of macro photography, um, you know, insects, things like that. And so whilst I was in the rainforest, I really wanted to challenge myself to pick up a macro project uh, and get some really nice images because I feel that you know adding things into what you do in order to kind of improve your skills is a really good way to work. So so what I've been doing whilst I'm here is doing a technique that um, a lot of people have shot before um, that's white boxing, basically uh, using a white box to overexpose and get really clean kind of subject shots of individual animals. And lucky enough, the guys were out on a vez uh, last night and they've picked up a few creatures. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get them in the white box and do some shooting. Uh, I think we've got a snake, some salamanders and a praying mantis, so should be a good day. Um, and this is a project that I've been doing the whole time I'm here. But Today I just thought I'd show you how I do it and uh, hopefully get some nice shots. But first, I've got to drink my coffee and grab my gear. Right, so I picked up my camera gear, just need to go and grab my tripod, some fresh white paper to line the white box um, because I want to have it as clean as possible so when I put my subjects in and I overexpose, I don't have any dirt on the paper, so that's why I've got some fresh. And now we need to get everything out, get the white box set out, and then we'll get the animals, put them in, be as quick as possible to cause them the minimum distress, and then later on the guys are heading back up the trail to release them, so everything should be done and dusted. So let's get a move on. So within the box, what I'm trying to do is make sure that my background slopes nicely down. It means that I'm not gonna have any hard edges or creases that are gonna come out in the pictures. It just gives me a smooth line for the uh, flash to bounce off and give me a pure white background. It also means that when I'm down low, so that I'm looking across, I'm gonna get an absolutely clean image. The idea will be to have the subject as central as possible, so I have a clean piece of paper behind, um, but overall this should be absolutely fine. I've been doing it for the last couple of weeks. Um, we've had some really nice images of um, you know, tree frogs, loads of different stuff, poison dart frogs, um, and some other snakes, but today with the salamanders and stuff like that, it should be a really good opportunity to get some interesting pictures. Right, so the white box is all kitted up and ready to go, sellotaped all my white paper in. Um, and now it's time to just practice and make sure I've got my settings right before I put any creatures in the box. Uh, so what I've got for that is a little pebble, you know, it's a dark colour. Um, so what I can do is set it in the middle where I'm going to have my creature, get it ready to go, and then pretty much take a test picture to make sure that I'm overexposing that background and getting really nice crisp detail on my main focus that is my little pebble here. Um, in terms of the settings, uh, I'm down to pretty much minimum focus um, to get some really nice shots, but I'll vary that depending on the subject. Um, I'm in manual mode, um, 200th of a second, F16, and at one quarter power on the flash. Uh, so let's give it a go and uh, see what it looks like. Oh. Right, so in the frogs to process queue, there was actually no frogs whatsoever. We have a snake in a pillowcase, uh, it says cat eye snake. Then we have a praying mantis who's doing some boxing practice at the moment. Uh, and then we have two salamanders. So all I'm gonna do now is wait for Diego to get here so we can process the snake and then get it in the box for some pictures. But the other guys look really good to go. Um, the praying mantis is one that I'm really looking forward to to get some really cool kind of like kung fu shot. Um, but the salamanders are just wicked as well. So it's gonna be a very exciting afternoon. Just remembered I've left my coffee in the other room. Tripod, coffee. Now just wait the other guys and uh, take some pictures. Right, so Diego and Claudio here. And now yeah. we're gonna get out some subjects and uh, take some pictures. Right. So what do you think first? I, I think, think first the snake because this one is quite wet now. Yeah, yeah let's do, wet. we'll do the snake first. Uh,
Right, so first of all what we're doing is we've just uh, got the cat eye snake in position. He's really calm, uh, that's really, really good. Beautiful snake, really small. Um, and what we're doing is just waiting for him to get settled and start moving around a bit um, before we can get some of those more characterful pictures that I'm after. Um, but we've got, uh, we're using bounce flashes to bounce it off the roof so it's not directly hitting the snake. Um, but he's really calm and just sat there at the moment. Uh, so we're just picking our shots, being slow uh, to move in and get some different images. So for the last half hour, we've been shooting in the white box. Uh, I didn't take too many pictures of me actually doing it because I wanted to be as quick as possible uh, so we could get things through um, with as minimal disruption as possible. So everything is done, got a few nice pictures. The praying mantis was probably the hardest because it just kept moving, kept walking out, uh, but I've got a few in the end that were quite nice. But what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm heading up the trail. So I'm gonna take these guys back and release them in the forest when I get out there. So uh, that should be good. But I need to go and get changed into my forest wear and then I'll be going up to T3 to check a camera trap, take these with me and uh, maybe get some release shots as well. So I'm just having a little water break en route to take the specimens that we were white boxing uh, back to where they were originally found, uh, up on T3. Uh, whilst I'm there, I'm also gonna check out one of my camera traps that's been out on one of the good paths there, and another one that is on location that was we got very lucky with the ocelot photo. Um, that one I checked the other day and it hasn't been doing too well. Uh, it's pretty fogged up as well from the rain, so I'm actually planning to remove it today bring it back to camp, get it aired out, uh, and then repositioned for uh, the final two weeks that I'm here uh, out on location on T9, uh, where we've had a lot of reports of um, puma footprints, jaguar, stuff like that, um, whilst leaving my other traps on the key locations for jaguar um, that I already have set up, and just kind of hope and pray that we do finally get something before I leave. Uh, there is one piece of me, one location that I just it's gonna look so gorgeous if it comes together. So I'm actually planning to leave a camera trap here when I leave um, to go after that picture if I haven't got it already. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just have a few more sips of water and then crack on because these guys need to be delivered and I don't have that much time until it's really gonna get dark. So I've made it up to where the guys caught the uh, salamanders, the praying mantis and the snake uh, last night. And now I'm just gonna put them back. I was just kitting up my 20 mil um, and my flash ready to go because uh, I'm going to try and get some environmental portraits uh, when I release them. Hopefully they'll stick around for a couple of minutes. Just give me enough time to get a few shots of them in the jungle habitat. That'd be really nice. Um, and then what I'm going to do is the camera trap is right here. So I'm going to check on that, see how that's going. Um, and then I'm going to hot foot it up to my other one and see how that is as well because it's only uh, just down the road. Um, and we'll see how they're going. And then this one is being pulled out uh, to go back on the other trail. So I've got a lot to do and not too much time to do it. So I better get shooting. So I've just positioned one of the salamanders back where he was found. Uh, the researchers told me he was on the low log uh, next to the first red tape. Um, you know, it makes it easy for me to find out where it is and put it in position. And now what I'm doing is I'm working with my, oh, it's gotta be, it's starting to become one of my favorite lenses is the Nikon 20mm uh, 1.8G. Um, it has an incredible close focus of 0.2 meters. And when you combine that by a subject um, that you can get really close to um, and a background, an environment like this, it gives you an incredible opportunity to make some really nice environmental portrait shots. So that's what I'm doing now. I've got the flash on TTL, it's at minus uh, two. Um, that's just so it's a little bit of kick in the front and then I'm using the ambient light of the background to give me that environmental portrait um, and simply gonna work with him for maybe five, 10 minutes and then move off. I'm actually gonna nudge him back a little bit more into the moistness of the log uh, when I finish my shot uh, just to get, make sure that he's exactly where he should be back nice and safe. So I've just popped him back into the wet leaf litter that's accumulated on this log. Uh, so now he's really nicely hidden uh, on the log there. So I'm going to now move on, put these guys back uh, and then crack on with this camera trap. So I pop the salamander up the other end of the trail where it's found and then the uh, praying mantis 
again was quite near the beginning so I've just got him up on this little stick um, he was found on a stick somewhere here and I didn't get told exactly where so I've just popped him here and all I'm doing is getting some more environmental portraits the light started to dim a bit but what I'm using is the 20 mil at 0.2 meters and all I do is pretty much um, frame it up through my viewfinder and then move in and shoot a couple of frames when I see it's in focus uh, this gives me the chance to get it um, you know using the flash I'm freezing the mantis and then using a bit of background fill um, to, to give me the ambient light um, I'm gonna have to use a slow shutter speed to get the ambient light but the flash is gonna freeze that mantis right in place and give it in the foreground and that little bit of blur that you get with the um, front sync flash around it because you get that little bit of movement just looks really cool uh, kind of adds to the kind of kung fu mantis vibe that's really quite nice um, so I'm gonna take a few more of these and then check the camera trap because uh, I'm not gonna have time to head up to the other one uh, before I head back but these guys are really cool and the shots are starting to come out really quite nice right now not to get the cat out of the bag but it's time to get the snake out of the bag um, and position him back on the tree that is just over there Come on, little fella. Out you come. In a pillowcase for travelling, one of the best ways to kind of keep snakes safe. Um, makes them really calm. So now I'm just going to find a little place to pop him and then we shall let him be on his way. So all my bags are emptied and everything is back where it belongs. Uh, the arboreal snake, you know, the cat eye snake just went straight back up into the canopy. Uh, so I didn't get even a chance to get a couple of pictures. But I think the praying mantis shot and the salamanders really look quite nice. I'm looking forward to seeing those on the computer. But now it's time to pull apart the camera trap, see if we've got lucky uh, and then head home because it's going to get dark in a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm also really quite hungry. So I just uh, undid the trigger and pulled it off and it said that we had one trigger whilst I was away and I'm pretty sure that's probably the researchers when they walked through to uh, do this uh, this check down this path the other day but you never know so when I open the camera I'll see what we've got. Uh, could have been lucky but oh, let's pull everything down. Camera, a load of ants and 13 pictures. Uh, Nothing exciting, just me filming the other day. Right, everything's packed up and ready to go. Um, picked up everything, just double check. There's nothing that I've left. Good, um, and now time to get back to the MLC um, because tonight it is Wednesday. And Wednesday is the day you don't want to miss dinner because Wednesday night is cake night. So I'm going to hot foot it back home. Obviously being very careful to not step on a snake or anything like that. Got my head torch ready to go. And yeah, it's dinner time, and maybe looking up at the sky, we might finally get an opportunity to photograph the Milky Way tonight. Something I've been trying to do, but it just hasn't come together yet, so we'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. 